I'm, I'm really honored uh, to participate in this forum for many reasons. First of all, because uh, when you and the board uh, asked me to chair uh, this institute, uh, we had a lot of plans. And then we had the lockdown. And then we had the virus. And then we couldn't get out of the homes. Uh, but actually, uh, I think uh, that we have learned to live uh, the new normal, and, and I do think that these uh, forums are necessary. These forums uh, are important because uh, we, we need to convey the message of uh, uh, our neighbors uh, to our uh, constituents. And, and people need to know because information is power. Uh, I, 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 I was fascinated uh, with uh, uh, what uh, has been said about the situation in Brazil because the only thing you hear about Brazil is about the number of cases of uh, the virus and, and sometimes uh, some statement by President Bolsonaro uh, that the media plays uh, in, in a different uh, context of what uh, he meant. But I do think that we have to learn uh, from Brazil, from the problems that they're, that they're having and the ambitious uh, reform that they want to do. We are now going into a reform process and uh, the, the the problem that we have, and, uh, and, and, and listen, uh, I have been a journalist uh, all my life. Uh, I, I had the honor of uh, being a White House correspondent uh, in the 80s uh, during the Reagan years and Bush 41. And I can tell you unequivocally uh, that the mainstream press it's not as objective as we thought it was. And, and I think that Fabio brought uh, uh, the issue of the social media. Uh, well, uh, I think that eventually what is happening in this country uh, because of the social media uh, and the Institute should do more about what is mainstream media and social media uh, is something that uh, will uh, put us forward in terms of social media reform. Because we in the mainstream uh, media uh, cannot publish or air uh, a comment or a news if we don't uh, have two sources to do it. And yet you can do whatever you want in the social media. You can tarnish uh, anybody's, anybody's reputation. You can uh, say weird conspiracy theories. And, and this is has what has been fueling uh, some of the issues uh, and, 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 and problems that we've had had in the last few days. So what I can tell uh, our colleagues uh, from Brazil is that Brazil is very important. Brazil is and was important for the city of Miami. Brazil was one of the most important economic engines that we had in the city of Miami. Uh, you know, Brazil sneezes and we get cold we catch a cold uh, because of the uh, of the of the tourism but also i think that brazil can learn from us from you from carlos from me i was i was born in cuba but raised in the united states but i follow uh, the cuban regime uh, because of my father being a journalist and a political prisoner 
and uh, and you know everybody has in 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 the Cuban American community uh, everybody has a family who uh, was the victim of uh, the Castro regime. And I remember because I was I was told and remember that in the 60s Che Guevara uh, pledged to create one, two, three new Vietnams uh, in Latin America. And Brazil was uh, the main target. And then uh, he went to Bolivia, Carlos' uh, country, uh, and then Castro in 1959 invaded Venezuela with 10 people uh, and Dominican Republic. Uh, so Brazil has been always the target uh, for uh, those who want to control the natural resources and that magnificent uh, country. Uh, so I, uh, you know, I just hope uh, that Brazil understand that uh, they need to do more public relations. They need to do more public information uh, campaigns uh, because the thing uh, that Luis was saying uh, are worth uh, showing and uh, printing those uh, ambitious plans so the United States can see that there are countries uh, who wants to step up and become uh, real leaders uh, in, in the world. Uh, you know, uh, there's not much that we can teach uh, Brazil now because, uh, you know, we have scientists here who say that we cannot go to a restaurant because uh, we will be contagious. Uh, but at the same time, those same scientists say that it's okay that we go to a protest uh, because racism uh, is uh, a health issue uh, that we have to deal with uh, in the United States. There's a lot of hypocrisy. There is a lot of, uh, and, and everything has to do uh, with the presidential election in, in the United States. But I just wanted to say uh, to Fabio and Luis uh, that, that it's important that they keep talking. It's important that you, Beatrice, uh, Carlos, so the Institute continues uh, to convey the message uh, that uh, Latin America wants uh, to be better, that Latin America cannot be dismissed uh, as a, uh, a failed continent, and that those uh, plans uh, need to be helped by the United States and by every uh, democratic uh, country. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we will be meeting in person uh, and, and no mask uh, soon, uh, but we should, we must continue these conversations uh, about Brazil and, uh, and about our beloved continent. Thank you.